is percentage composition. We know that the maximum percentage of any substance that exists is 100%. The word composition means what it's made up of. Let's make, take a very simple example. Haribo Star Mix. It's made up of fried eggs, Coca-Cola bottles, love hearts, gummy bears and drinks. If I was to add up all of the sweets that I've got on this page, I have a total of 10 sweets. All of those sweets equals 100%. That was, that's what was found inside the packet. If I wanted to work out the percentage of fried eggs, I would take the number of fried eggs that I have over the total number of sweets and multiply it by 100. So I would do 2 divided by 10 and multiply by 100. That would equal 20%. 20% of my Haribo Star Mix would have been made up from fried eggs. Same thing happens when we're looking at the percentage composition of elements which are found in compounds. I'm going to go through four worked examples showing you how to calculate the percentage composition of each element in a compound when you have been given the chemical formula. The first one that we're going to work through is to calculate the percentage composition of each element in H2O. So firstly, we have to work out the GFM. How many hydrogens do we have in the formula? We have two. Multiplied by the relative atomic mass of that element, which can be found on page seven of your data booklet. The relative atomic mass of hydrogen is one. Two times one equals two. How many oxygens do we have in the formula? We have one multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. One times 16 equals 16. When we add those up, we get a GFM of 18 grams. To work out the percentage composition of each element, remember we have to put the mass of that element over the total GFM and multiply by 100 to put it into a percentage. So for hydrogen, the total mass of hydrogen was two over the GFM, which was 18, multiplied by 100 would give us 11.1%. For oxygen, the mass of oxygen was 16 over 18 times 100 gives 88 0.9%. When we add both of those percentages up, 11.1 plus 88.9 equals 100%. Example number two, calculate the percentage composition of each element in Al2O3. We first have to calculate the GFM, aluminium. How many do we have in the formula? We have two times by the relative atomic mass which is 27, 2 times 27 equals 54. Oxygen, how many do we have in the formula? We have 3 times by the relative atomic mass, which is 16, 3 times 16 equals 48. 54 plus 48 gives us 102 grams. That's the GFM. To work out the percentage composition, Aluminium, what's the total mass that we have of that? It's 54 over the GFM, which was 102. Multiply it by 100 to put it into a percentage and we get 52.9%. Oxygen, we have 48 divided by 102. Multiplied by 100 equals 47.1%. When we add these two percentages up, we get a total of 100%. Example three gets a little bit more tricky. Calculate the percentage composition of each element in Li2SO4. Now, from the previous videos, when we were looking at formula using the group ions, I always reminded you to put brackets around the entities which were found in page eight. So the formula that we're going to write down to help us make it a little bit easier to work out the GFM is we're going to write Li2 
bracket, SO4, close bracket. How many lithiums do we have in the formula? We've got 2 times by the relative atomic mass, which is 7. 2 times 7 equals 14. Sulfur. How many do we have inside the bracket? We have 1 multiplied by the number outside the bracket. There's no number there, so we assume that it's 1. And we times that by the relative atomic mass which is 32. 1 times 1 is 1, multiplied by 32 gives us 32. Oxygen, how many do we have inside the bracket? We have 4, multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 1, and we multiply it by the relative atomic mass of oxygen, which is 16. 4 times 16 equals 64. When we add all of these numbers up, we get a GFM of 110. To work out the percentage composition, we put the mass of that element over the GFM and multiply it by 100. So for lithium, we have a total of 14 over 110 times by 100 and we get a percentage of 12.7. For sulphur, we have 32 over 110 multiplied by 100, which gives us 29.1%. Oxygen, 64, divided by 110, multiplied by 100, which gives us 58.2%. When we add the percentages for lithium, sulphur and oxygen together, it equals 100%. For this example, we want to calculate the percentage composition of each element in bracket NH4, close bracket, 2, CO3. Again, with this example, we have two elements which are chemically joined together in a group ion. So we want to use page 8 and put a bracket around that. So the GFM that we're going to try and work out for is going to be bracket NH4, close bracket, 2, bracket, CO3, close bracket. This will, again, just make it a little bit easier when we're working out the GFM. Nitrogen, how many do we have inside the bracket? We have 1, multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 2. And we need to times that by the relative atomic mass of nitrogen, which is 14. 2 times 14 equals 28. Hydrogen, how many do we have inside the bracket? We've got 4 multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 2, multiplied by the relative atomic mass of hydrogen, which is 1. 8 times 1 is 8. Carbon, how many do we have inside the bracket? We have 1 multiplied by the number outside the bracket, there's no number there, so that tells us that we only have 1, multiplied by the relative atomic mass of carbon, which is 12. 1 times 12 equals 12. Oxygen, how many do we have inside the bracket? We've got 3, multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 1, multiplied by the relative atomic mass of oxygen, which is 16. 3 times 16 equals 48. When we add all these numbers up, we get a GFM of 96. To work out the percentage composition, nitrogen, we have 28 divided by 96 times by 100, which gives us 29.2%. Hydrogen, we have 8 divided by 96 times by 100, which gives us 8.3%. Carbon, we have 12 divided by 96 multiplied by 100, which gives us 12.5%. Last but not least, we have oxygen, which is equal to 48 divided by 96 multiplied by 100, which gives us 
when we add all of these percentages up, it totals 100%. This past paper question is from the National 5 2019 Multiple Choice Question 10. Ammonium nitrate, NH4, NO3, has a gram formula mass of 80. The percentage by mass of nitrogen in ammonium nitrate is equal to. Now, I always like to show all of my working, even though the gram formula mass has been given in the question. How many nitrogens do I have in the formula that's been given? I have two. 2 times 14 equals 28. How many hydrogens do I have? I have 4. And the relative atomic mass is 1. 4 times 1 equals 4. Oxygen, I have 3 in the formula, times by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. 3 times 16 equals 48. When I add those up, I get a gram formula mass of 80 grams. The question wants us to work out the percentage composition of nitrogen in the compounds. The total mass of nitrogen that we've calculated by showing our working for our GFM is 28 over the GFM, which is 80, multiplied by 100. So the correct answer to this question is multiple choice answer B. This next past paper question is from the National 5 2017 written 10b. Calculate the percentage by mass of aluminium in aluminium sulphate and the formula is given as Al2 bracket SO4 close bracket 3. It asks you to show your working clearly. The first step is to calculate the GFM. How many aluminiums do we have? We have 2 multiplied by the relative atomic mass which is 27. 2 times 27 equals 54. How many sulfurs do we have? We have 1 inside the bracket multiplied by 3 outside the bracket times by the relative atomic mass, which is 32. 3 times 32 equals 96. Oxygen, how many do we have inside the bracket? We have 4 multiplied by the number outside the bracket, which is 3, times by the relative atomic mass of oxygen, which is 16. 12 times 16 equals 192. When we add these numbers up, we get a GFM of 342 grams. The question wants us to work out the percentage composition of aluminium. The total mass of aluminium that we have in the compound is 54 divided by the gram formula mass, which is 342, and times it by 100 to put it into a percentage. And therefore, the percentage mass of aluminium is equal to 15.8%. This last past paper question is from the National 5 2016, written 4B. Calculate the percentage mass of silicon in andalusite and the formula is given as Al2SiO5. You have to show your working clearly. The first step is to work out the GFM. How many aluminiums have you been given in the formula? You've been given two times by the relative atomic mass, which is 27. Two times 27 equals 54. Silicon has the symbol SI. How many do we have in the formula? We have 1 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 28. 1 times 28 equals 28. Oxygen. How many do we have in the formula? We have 5 multiplied by the relative atomic mass, which is 16. 5 times 16 equals 80. When we add all of those up, we get a GFM of 162 grams. It wants us to work out the percentage of silicon. So we have the mass of silicon, which is 28, 
over the GFM, which is 162, then we multiply that by 100 to put it into a percentage. So therefore, the percentage mass of silicon is equal to 17.3%. Thank <laughs> you.